Hello again, Sussex Christian Reformed Church. We wanted to give you another update on our reopening strategy so that you have uh, the best opportunity to, to plan and prepare for, for what to expect on uh, Sunday mornings. So before we give you the update, I wanted to remind everybody of uh, how we make these decisions and why. What, what goes into the process of making some of these decisions. So uh, in the beginning of this process, uh, council identified a few folks to kind of serve as a reopening team. And that's kind of a representative sample of different voices and experiences in our church. And uh, we've been meeting pretty much every week to review the different policies, review uh, our strategy, and see how we can get as many people together as possible for worship in a safe and compliant way. And that's really been our goal during this whole process. We really want to uh, kind of equip people. We want to gather people together for worship. We want to do so in a way that we know is going to be um, safe for the people that gather and are compliant with the guidelines that we've been given. So that's kind of guided our process so far. We started with outdoor worship, which uh, was great experience, uh, but we knew eventually we needed to make some plans to, uh, to implement indoor worship service. So we decided to, to start with one step and then we would evaluate and then make some next steps to plan and prepare for how we can continue with that goal, gathering as many people together for worship as we can in a safe and compliant way. So after three Sundays, we feel like we've got a pretty good handle on uh, where we're going and where we, we, where we wanna make sure that we can get people together. So council met recently and uh, working with the reopening team, we've got some next steps for you all. So what we can be uh, preparing for, what you can be preparing for is starting October 11, we are gonna have two worship services that will be identical on Sunday mornings. So we'll have two worship services starting at 8.30, leaving an hour in between and then starting a 10.30 service so that we have some time in between to clean up the worship space, wipe down all of the, uh, the frequently touched surfaces. And uh, that way, we will continue to follow the guidelines, which right now is 25% capacity or 75 people in this room. But with that strategy, we can gather together um, almost 150 people together on a Sunday morning. So the way this is going to work is uh, each week we'll still follow some sort of a scheduling process and Rachel will send that schedule out so you know how to plan and prepare and on uh, early in the week on Monday you'll see that schedule go out and if it's your turn to come to worship you'll get first priority to reserve your spot whether in the 830 service or in the 1030 service. And so you can uh, reserve that with the, uh, the online method that we've provided. If uh, you're not used to technology, you can call the office uh, and Rachel will manually reserve a spot for you. And after a couple days uh, of the specific districts getting priority, then we're going to open that up to a first come first serve basis. Anyone who is uh, available and wants to come into this space to worship, you're going to be uh, open to reserve your spot so that you can gather together. And so you can uh, plan and prepare by keeping an eye out for that email and making sure that you uh, follow the instructions and do everything you can to make sure that we know that you're going to be here. So part of how this is going to work is that we need to rely on you to let us know when you're coming to worship. Uh, we want to give as many people a chance to come here as possible, but we need to know who's here so that we can uh, make sure we have accountability and uh, so we can plan to make sure we're not uh, overloading this space. So please let us know if you're planning on worship, whether by doing that online registration or calling the office just so we know who to plan and prepare for. So along this process, we were going to ask you to continue to uh, be praying for us and uh, continue to uh, be encouraging the people who are involved. We rely on a lot of great uh, staff and volunteers that make all of this happen. So we want to thank those people uh, and for all the work that they do to put in to make sure that we can come together to worship. But we really hope that this strategy uh, gives us a chance to, to come together for worship and to always remember the work that God is calling us to do. And here at this church, that's to grow disciples of Jesus Christ. We want to do that through relationships that are full of grace and authenticity so together we become more and more like Jesus Christ. That's the goal of coming together for worship, that God would meet us, that he would transform us, he would help us grow as followers of Jesus, and then he would send us out to, uh, to show his love 
to be engaged in relationships with people in our own church and people outside of our church. So together we can learn more and more what it looks like to reflect the love of Jesus Christ. So that's our goal, and uh, we really look forward to seeing more of you on Sunday morning. So you can prepare for that on Sunday, October 11. Thank you all so much.